Hey guys, it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another week of meal planning. In today's video, um, I'm also going to be sharing a rather large uh, grocery haul. I think we spent $2,700 and I think <laughs> it sounds kind of crazy, I know, but uh, a couple of times a year, Ken and I will go and we'll do a major paint pantry freezer household uh, stock up and then we had a little bit of um, back to school uh, supplies that we bought as well and um, it just kind of helps us out because the town we live in the grocery store here is a little bit high priced and by taking advantage of some of these uh, box store prices um, stocking up when we have a chance it really saves our family money we have a large family and I tell you what every penny counts <laughs> So uh, let me get the camera turned around and um, I'll show you guys our meal plan. Okay, our menu plan for this week. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we're gonna be in Tennessee for the eclipse. We're getting back late. So I'm gonna be using some of those freezer pizzas that I make and put in the freezer because I know we're gonna be really tired. And uh, yep, that's what I'm gonna do. So we just got back from Tennessee. Uh, we went down there to watch the eclipse and I haven't made it to the grocery store so tonight we're having pizza. Thursday is Ken's birthday and he has requested his mom's taquitos, refried beans, rice, and a Texas sheet cake. And um, of all the things I make that's what the, that's what this man wants. It's kind of crazy. So today is Ken's birthday and of all the things that I cook I asked him what he wanted for his birthday dinner and he wanted his mom's uh, beef taquitos, homemade refried beans, Spanish rice and guacamole. <laughs> so this is Ken's birthday dinner and then um, he's gonna have a Texas sheet cake. You know his family's from Texas so That'll be his birthday cake. And then probably later when we're watching TV, I'll cut up a bunch of fruit. But um, this is what he wanted for his birthday. So happy birthday, Kenny. Friday, we're going to have Italian subs, potato salad. I'm going to make fresh fruit and lemonade. Um, we're going to go to a park. They have a local band that's coming and we're going to enjoy the lake and just have a glorious time. The Italian hoagie rolls have sliced provolone, mortadella, genoa salami, capicola, and ham. With lettuce, tomato, you can add red onions and sliced pepperoncinis, olive oil, a little tiny bit of red wine vinegar, salt and pepper. We have potato salad and then a fruit salad. And that's what's for dinner. So I made the potato salad last night and there's whipped potato salad and then there's really chunky potato salad. And I like in between. Kind of like Goldilocks. And then when I make my potato salad, I make a bunch of deviled eggs and I put it on top. Saturday, I kind of adjusted my menu to make it a little easier um, because we're going to meet with a designer. She's um, uh, she's already been here once to pick out um, furniture for the living room and dining room. And I'm so excited because I've been saving my pennies and now I can afford to get some new furniture. And we're gonna meet with her um, Saturday to get everything finalized and ordered and, and whatnot. So I kinda made my menu a little bit easier. Fried chicken, corn on the cob. We're gonna finish up that leftover uh, potato salad and just cut up a watermelon. I'm gonna try to keep it as simple as I can. We're gonna fry up some chicken. And we have some leftover potato salad and deviled eggs, corn on the cob, and some watermelon. Sunday, I'm gonna ask Ken to grill up some steaks and grill some squash. And then I'll brandy up some mushrooms and make some baked potatoes. And then together we can make a watermelon basket and um, finish our evening. I think Sunday is the um, season uh, finale for Game of Thrones. So I know the boys are gonna wanna watch that. So that'll be a nice dinner. Ken's gonna grill up those New York steaks and I'm gonna brandy some mushrooms. And while he has the grill hot, he's gonna cook up some zucchini and squash. And I'm gonna bake some potatoes and that's what's gonna be for dinner. For dessert, Ken made this beautiful watermelon basket that has all kinds of fresh 
beautiful fruit in it. It looks so delicious to me. Every three or four months, Ken and I'll go and we'll do a major pantry stock up. And the first part of this uh, grocery haul is going to be my uh, weekly grocery um, store. We also went to Sam's Club and Trader Joe's. So this week at my local grocery store, we got four packs of water, some cremini mushrooms, 10 avocados, and they're perfect. We're going to have guacamole tonight. Some sweet onions, tomatoes. Um, I'm going to cook these on the, the grill with steaks later this week. I got the large baking potatoes for twice baked potatoes. And then just some russets. Parsley, green onions, jalapenos, the poblano uh, chilies for the refried beans, garlic, shallots. Iceberg lettuce. I'm going to do some meal prep and uh, make some salads this week. Um, you know the Panera salad that has the strawberries and blue cheese and um, sometimes they'll have pineapple and blueberries and uh, chicken breast, things like that. I'm going to do those for some meal prep for school lunches. Corn, some navel oranges, some peaches lemonade, quite a bit of grapes. They look really good this week. A couple of honeydew melons, four pineapples, a couple bunches of bananas, um, quite a bit of strawberries. I got six pounds of strawberries, blueberries, and a couple things of blackberries, kiwis. And you know I can't not get through the summer without having at least one watermelon. I got a couple of um, frying chickens. These were 79 cents a pound. So make fried chicken this week. And then this was a great bargain. I thought it was really good. $2.69 for the eye of the round roast. I bought four of them. It's my favorite roast to make um, roast beef dinner with. And it's big enough that we can have a wonderful Sunday roast beef dinner and then enough left over to make like shredded beef tacos or taquitos or something like that. This was another great find. Um, these are half of a whole beef loin. So these are like the cut of the meat that New York uh, strip steaks are cut from. And originally it was $70. I paid $24.80. And this is nice because you can cut it however thick you want it for your steaks. And this will be enough for our family um, to have steaks one night. I did get four packages, so I'll put three of them in the freezer. I got chicken breasts, um, let's see, I think it was $1.67 a pound, I think, or $1.77, something like that. So I got four big packages of those, and some of this will go in the freezer, some of it I'll marinade and um, grill up for school lunches this week. And then as far as deli goes, I got some um, salami, some capicola, some ham, and then they didn't have mortadella, so she suggested this. And I tasted it in the store, it was really good. And then some provolone, because I'm gonna make Italian subs. And then I just got some turkey um, for school lunches. Got some mild cheddar. Normally I don't buy the shredded stuff, but I had a coupon and it was a really great deal. A um, Couple gallons of 2%. I got a half a gallon of whole milk. Heavy cream, buttermilk, sour cream, butter, some mascarpone. And I'm going to take some peaches and grill them. And then um, you mix a little bit of honey with the mascarpone. And then you put it in the middle of it. And you can drizzle a little more honey on top if you want. And some sliced almonds or something like that. And it makes a really nice dessert. The eggs were $1.49 for an 18 pack. And they're large eggs. I got three of those. As far as pantry items, this one was free because I had the um, coupon and then um, it was a, a store coupon. So I combined a store coupon with a manufacturer coupon. I got a couple of um, Spanish rice aronis, Velveeta. I had a coupon for the creamy peanut butter. I'm going to use this to make some Buckeye 
um, peanut butter balls um, later this month. And then um, some petite diced tomatoes, mentos, corn tortillas, um, some sub rolls. And this was a great deal. These were on sale, and I'll have to check what they originally were. It was either $2.99 or $3.99 for these, and they were $0.75, cents, some store promotion. And I figured I could make an, like, an Italian cream uh, to go on here and then put some berries on it or something, fruit. And then some Italian bread. I was um, out of paper towels, and I needed some Easy Off to clean my range. I used uh, my $2 coupon I got last week uh, to purchase some more Halo Top. And then these were 99 cents. I had a coupon for those. So at Tops, my original bill was $5.49. I ended up paying $2.53 um, after coupons and in-store savings. And um, got a lot of great buys there. And then at Price Chopper, I paid two seventeen ninety two, and um, uh, fifty five dollars in savings. But Price Chopper doesn't reflect um, their meat sales, so like the Eye of the Rounds, um, they don't uh, take that into consideration when they do tell you how much you kind of saved as far as coupons and stuff like that. So I know I did better as far as total savings uh, because of the meat prices were really great this week. So altogether, that was what. <laughs> roughly 470 bucks and I have a lot of proteins to put in the freezer and um, high quality ones at that. So I'm pleased with my grocery haul at our local store this week. Now let me get this put away and we'll get to the Big Sam's Club and Trader Joe's stock up haul. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> start. Okay, I'm going to start with the freezer stuff so we can get it put away. Spicy pork, chicken teriyaki, the vegetable, and a Thai style pot stickers. They were all really good, so we got them so the kids could try them. Got a big thing of paper towels, and school starting for us, so we got um, some Jimmy Dean pancake and sausage, um, microwavable things for the kids for breakfast, some corn dogs, orange chicken, some breakfast sandwiches, the Jimmy Dean Delights. Those are pretty good. They're low calorie, Weight Watcher friendly. We got some egg rolls, some more pot stickers. The kids like these too. As far as frozen meats, we got 40 pounds of chicken breasts, 12 pounds of chicken thighs, and I got a couple more of these pulled pork. I really like these. They're good in a pinch couple packages of the Johnsonville brats as far as oh let's see I got another beef brisket I thought this might make a really um, quick uh, dinner one night I'm gonna give this one a try I've never tried this before it was about twenty dollars for two and a half pounds of brisket so as far as dairy there's butter heavy cream whipping cream there's some milk some cheese um, Mexican cheese. They already have out the pumpkin spice um, coffee creamer. We got some of the Baby Bell Light, Baby Swiss. There's some Pink Lady apples hiding out back there. For lunches, in addition to the tuna, we got ham, a couple packages of ham, and some hard salami. As far as bakery, we got flour tortillas, we got the hot dog rolls for the brats. We got some ciabatta rolls and some croissants for sandwiches this week. And then I picked these up for my mom. I know some of you know she's um, in stage Alzheimer. And these have a lot of um, fruit and vegetables in them and they're really easy for her to manage. So I got her a variety of those, some protein um, premier po protein. I could only find the chocolate. I wish they would have had the uh, what was that one you like? The caramel vanilla one. It's really good in your coffee. And there's 30 grams of protein for each one. I went ahead and stocked up on nuts. Got walnuts, pecans, almonds, and then just some mixed nuts. And then everything was on sale, like all of their back-to-school stuff. So I got the kids Rice Krispie treats, some 
granola bars and I got them some cereal. The cereal was all on sale, like a couple bucks off each big thing. And then, I don't know, Ken stuck this in the cart. I'm going to blame that on Ken. <laughs> and some gum. We got some chips, different varieties for the kids' lunches. Heinz 57, some canned milk, chicken broth, some mini moos, a couple of things of coffee, ketchup, some diced um, tomatoes, mustard, Frank's hot sauce, a big thing of Parmesan cheese, and don't laugh, this is tuna. <laughs> But I'm going to make a tuna noodle casserole. Ken's been wanting one for a while. And then the rest of it I'll make into tuna sandwiches for school lunches. As far as uh, seasonings, we got a Spanish paprika, Italian seasoning, and granulated garlic. Drinks, we got iced tea, green tea, some bottled water, some sodas, more tea, a case of chocolate milk. Our Trader Joe's grocery haul was mainly like a pantry and a little bit of a freezer stock up we got jasmine rice the chocolate almond breeze milk and then i got six of the carne asada um, packages a couple of the pork pot stickers vegetable fried rice i think three packages and the chicken teriyaki we got three packages and the orange chicken we got three packages I went ahead and stocked up on the Trader Joe's cheese. Got four packages of each one. I did get some romaine hearts, Parmesan cheese, some fresh mozzarella, some blue cheese and goat cheese. And I got um, some bread to make some um, French bread. Uh, my Trader Joe's doesn't always have this, so I was really pleased to see it today. I got some pita breads for sandwiches this week, some corn tortillas. I stocked up on some beef broth for the pantry, peaches, olive oil spray, red wine vinegar, the white vinegar, a couple things of olive oil. This is a product that I found last time I went to Trader Joe's. It's Shelf Stable Whipping Cream. Got sun-dried tomatoes, black olives, pickled beets, sliced dill pickle chips, marinated artichoke hearts. I stocked up on mandarin oranges, coconut milk, green chilies, black beans, pinto beans, kidney beans, and white kidney beans. And then I found these. I thought this was a great find. I got four of them. These are like the big Cambro um, containers. And they fit in the fridge. So if you're entertaining, you can make like a big fruit salad or a big toss salad or whatever. Marinate some meat. And they're three and a half gallon capacity. They're about 15 bucks. They're the Rubbermaid brand, but they are just like the Cambro ones and um, those will come in handy. As far as back to school supplies, we got a backpack for one of our sons, some pens, a pencil sharpener, a couple of um, binders with paper, some Sharpies, pencils, pencil sharpener, eraser, some t-shirts, some undies, like, I don't know, four or five packages of undies. And then we got some laundry detergent. Um, I was almost out of my aluminum foil. And I buy this like once every year or maybe year and a half. And um, I want to say it was around, what, $20, Kenny? But it sure lasts and it's heavy duty. I love this. Lens cleaners, shampoo and cream rinse. They were on sale. Um got some bounce laundry detergent or laundry um, sheets dryer sheets a big thing is Ziploc bags some of the contractor um, heavy-duty bags mouthwash um, I'm not sure who the razors for one of the boys Ken saw these these are shower heads and so he wanted to give these a try they look pretty interesting 
we went to TJ Maxx and got a couple of new mattress pads for some of our beds. And I got three um, queen set sheets for some of our beds. Um, our Keurig um, just stopped working. We've had it for a long time, like 10 years. And we tried all the tricks to get it going again, but I think it was the pump. And then I got some tweezers and some dog food. <laughs> well, if you made it to the end, I tell you what, you're a champ. And um, $2,700 is a big haul for us. Um, but I tell you, it's really going to set our family up for success for the next many months. I forgot to mention our totals. I know someone's going to ask, so I'm going to add this at the very end. We spent... Um, 470 thereabouts at our local grocery store um, about $40 at Staples about 345 Trader Joe's 230 at TJ Maxx and about 1615 at Sam's so that was the total 2700 all right you guys talk to you later